were working on container stacks on deck. The spreader picks up the TPC like a standard container and adjusts it to the required width of the stack, 20 to 45 feet. This width can generally also be adjusted during operation, irrespective of the type of spreader. The lashers enter the two cages, which are large enough for them to move around in and carry some equipment. At the same time, they are narrow enough to fit inside the gap between containers on virtually all types of ship. The design of the cages and the deflectors attached to them assure that they travel along safely with the lashers fully protected. Having reached their working position, the lashers can quickly and conveniently release the twist locks as they pass by them slowly, whereby the lashers communicate with each other and the crane operator by radio. Having reached the end of a row, the lashers lower their cages until they are on a level with the second layer of containers and proceed to de-lock these containers on their return journey. This significantly reduces the number of unnecessary trips made by the trolley and the gantry. Having finished, the lashers leave their cages. The crane's spreader pushes the TPC together again horizontally while the weight of the system telescopes it vertically. TPCs are thus the ideal way of avoiding the hazardous task of de-locking from the top of a stack of containers, a task that is at best undesirable and often actually prohibited. Their design combines the requirements of safety and ergonomics for the lashing staff with a rapid and economic operation. Being telescopic in both the horizontal and the vertical direction, the cage takes up little room on the gantry crane while in the 20-foot horizontal position and retracted in the vertical direction. The animation shows how the bar of this lashing cage is adjusted by the spreader to the desired container length, between 20 and 45 feet. Two separate personnel cages can be seen on the left and right. The trick is that these personnel cages are in turn vertically telescopic. Having reached the end of a row, the lashers lower their cages to the lower working position. They are now on a level with the second layer of containers. And now everything happens the other way round. The bridge moves the lashing cage in the opposite direction. As it does so, the lashers de-lock the second row of containers without interrupting their flow of work. Here it can be seen very clearly. The novel design of this lashing cage reduces the number of unnecessary trips made by the trolley and the gantry. The lashers do their job under conditions of maximum personal safety at all times. The difficult and often hazardous working conditions of conventional lashing are a thing of the past. <laughs>